This video will review features of NPR tools, settings for soft and sketchy shadows, and review the final images. Okay, so to start, you're first going to want to go to renderplus.com, click on the download tab, and then download and install the software. It should be pretty easy to do this, just follow the steps. Then once that's done, open up SketchUp like I have here, and go to the plugins menu, and click on NPR tools. Then you'll see this new toolbar pop up, and this is the NPR tools toolbar. And this is where anything and everything having to do with NPR tools can be found. NPR tools can add several different non-photorealistic enhancements to your SketchUp model, so let me go over some of these options now. There are a few buttons here, but I'm just going to focus on a couple of the more important buttons for now. So first we have this crayon button here, and this is a neat feature. What it does is apply texture to either the model, or the model and the background, and make it look like it was drawn with a crayon. So this is really cool, and is something that can be done with just a few clicks. Then the second to last button here is where you can change some of the export image settings. Most important thing here is this group of settings up here. Here you can choose to export either just the lines, or just the faces, or just the shadows, or of course all. This is handy if, say, you want to take maybe just the faces over to Photoshop and apply your own filters, or whatever the case may be. And with NPR tools, this process can be done with just a couple of little clicks. Okay, so now I want to go over the coolest features of NPR tools. And that would be soft and sketchy shadows. The way soft shadows works is by taking a whole bunch of images of shadows at different positions and then blending them together into one image. And so this is where you can control that. We have simplified the user interface here to make it both easier and faster to use. So soft shadows here does pretty much what it sounds like. It controls how soft the edges of the shadows will look. And then shadow spread here controls how large the shadow will be. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose a couple here. And then you'll also notice these advanced options here. And these relate to these settings down here. I don't have time to cover this now, but just know that this is where you can fine tune the shadows if you want. Then once you've picked your options, you can go ahead and come down here and click on OK. And then up pops this progress bar, and this just shows the images being made and then compiled into one clean image. All right, and here you go. Up here is the SketchUp model, and then down here is the soft shadow image. And you can clearly see how much softer these shadows are than they are in the SketchUp model. Pretty awesome effect, huh? Plus, this could easily add that unique element to your model that makes you stand out. And again, this was done really, really quickly and easily. All right, and then there is Sketchy Shadows. And it does pretty much what it sounds like. It adds sketchy lines as shading instead of a solid shape of color. You can see that I have applied a sketchy style to this model. And that'll help give the final image a more uh, sketchy or hand-drawn feeling this way. So again, click on the Soft and Sketchy Shadows button. But this time, click on the Patterns tab. So first, choose the line width and line direction. This scale factor here is important, so make note of that. And then there are a couple other settings down here, but they should be pretty self-explanatory. Then one last thing before we hit OK, go back to the Shadows tab and change these quality presets down to their lowest setting. Sketchy shadows don't need all the details like soft shadows do. Plus, turning down these settings will make less images and therefore speed up the process. All right, go back and click on OK. And here are some examples showing the number of different ways you can set up Sketchy Shadows. Sketchy Shadows gives you enough flexibility to have your model look just the way you want it to. As you can see, this is a really cool and fun way to add that hand-drawn effect to your SketchUp model. No more of that cold, boring, computer-generated images that we've all grown so accustomed to. You can now, with NPR tools, add more warmth and depth, and what it really comes down to is adding more personality to your SketchUp images. No other software out there can match the speed, ease, or cost of NPR tools. So again, NPR tools offer a number of ways to add that unique personal touch to your SketchUp model. Plus, it's something that can be done super easily and quickly. No other software can match the features that NPR tools offers. Okay, well, I hope you try out NPR tools and do something really cool with it. We'd love to see what you all come up with. Thanks for watching.